Welcome to your BMW channel. That's right, your BMW channel, because this is the channel where you send in your BMW videos, and as long as they are at least mildly entertaining, we will post them up and put a link back to your YouTube channel. So please send in your BMW videos. Send in your Beamer videos. How many times can I say BMW, BMW, Beamer, Beamer, Beamer? It's your new drinking game, BMW. <laughs> Here's a sample of what you can expect from this crazy channel. It's insane! Hard break, break. You're not gonna make it, you're not gonna make it, you're not gonna make it. Whoa, look at this, bumps. Man, that is deep water though. Oh my God. Let's see how much you can Ford. Ford, come on, Ford, Ford, go! <laughs> I could just do this all day. Watch this, we'll check it out. Wow, holy cow. <laughs> that is fun. Getting in an 850i, brand new BMW M850i. Yes, I look ridiculous in a poncho, but it is pouring rain outside. And yes, this is really a brand new 2019 BMW 850i, the 8 series. Yo, I'm in the real thing. All right, let's see what this thing can properly do. Whoa, this is quick. Holy cow, this thing is quick. This is the time to subscribe and like. Keep going, keep going. Now just steer the heck out of it. Just keep cranking that wheel back and forth. Back to the right, now brake. Off the brake. Good, so straighten the wheel some, gas. Brake, brake, a little bit more, gas. Oh, I forgot what to squeeze the What would you do if the there brake. was a rabbit out in front of you? Kill the rabbit. You would kill a rabbit. <laughs> This is a proper SUV. Goes off-road nicely. Beautiful. Check this out. Oh my god. Alright, that's getting a little rough, but the car is doing just fine. I don't know if my lunch can do handle that much vibration back to back and forth, but the car's absorbing it nicely. There to the right, back to the left. night vision and uh, see cool stuff at night. That is incredibly distracting while you drive. This is the one and only feature of this car that I officially never use. I like to show it off because it's pretty freaking cool, let's be real. Uh, but I never use this. This is just, this is a way to end up in a car accident in New York City trying to rely on that to see. Subscribe and like please. Oh, we're gonna get air. Woo! <laughs> this is fun, man. Brand new car, straight out of the showroom. Uh, it looks like I got a thousand miles on this car, 1,070 miles, so it shouldn't have any real problems, but I found one already. like hide stuff in there. And this is the brand new 2019 i8 convertible. Oh man, just to pull it back down, it's like. Oh, maybe that's why they made the doors so stiff. So like guys like me can show off your muscles as you show off uh, the car and your muscles. Look, I could pull the door down, yeah. <laughs> You did push subscribe and like by now, right? Because if you're an ABS, the, the odds are maybe it thinks you're gonna crash. Good simultaneous hold shot by both drivers. Okay, nobody moves. Stay on the brakes. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna have to come over and take a look at this with the laser sight. This is so much fun. <laughs> Alright drivers, ready for the uh, final round. Ready, ready, go. And good old shots by both drivers. Wow. Nice job. That's one hell of a brake pedal. 
I'm sitting in a 2019 BMW M5 first edition II 400 or whatever that says. I have no idea what that means, um, but it sounds cool. These buttons here and there and there and there and there and there and there and all of these and more of those and those and those and those. There are buttons everywhere in this car. The doors have buttons here and here. And let's see what this thing can do off-roading. Let's see how it works. Yeah. A little off-roading. We just got in the car. Let's see how it does. Wow. This is fun. Whew. Took out a car. Yeah, you gotta miss those. Go brake, 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 brake. Off the brake. Turn it left. Gas. Unwind the wheel. Brake. Turn less. Turn less. Gas. If you're digging this station, then hit that subscribe button right now. Push like, subscribe, share it with your friends, do all those things. I'm gonna follow them because they're driving pretty quick. Reach your next destination in Whoa, that is 60 feet. miles an hour already. Holy cow. This thing is quick. still this here is this M performance engine you can see absolutely nothing because it's covered by a big plastic piece there's no carbon fiber to be found except fake carbon fiber on the plastic lid wow big huge engine nothing to see here folks man is this car plush the ride on this thing is literally like Lincoln Town Car I mean that's the best ride quality explanation when you're in comfort mode it's soft, it's squishy, it, bounce, it, it swings back and forth like a boat. I put the original pedal box classic back on right here and it, as you can see it's lit up red which is sport plus mode the most aggressive mode this thing has and I'm gonna do a full throttle hard acceleration from a complete standstill so I am now in a BMW 530e taking this for a test drive and I have to say I really like it I really 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 like it actually I'm gonna do a zero to 60 run. And let's see how this thing does, all right? I'm gonna just pull out so I have a straight road. I can't figure out how to make the GPS stop, by the way. All right, zero, ready, one, two, and three. Not the fastest car in the world, but it is fun to drive this thing. Oh, is that what it is? Floor it, Go through here flat, do not lift, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Now brake, brake, off the brake. This is a very nice feel car. I mean, just the road feel on this is superb. I gotta say the 530 feels so good to drive. Uh, left or right? I don't know, I'm gonna go left. Whoa, car there, blind spot. This handles beautifully, this car. Alright, so unlike the 7 Series, which had nice big mirrors, these have a very obvious blind spot as I almost drove into that car. I didn't even see it in there. I looked in the mirror, I checked my mirrors, it just was gone. It was, it was exactly in that spot where you can't see. But it handles really, really nicely, this thing. I'm here with my brand new previously owned BMW 760 Li 60 for a 6 liter V12. This is not the first car to put a refrigerator between the back seats, but in addition to the refrigerator, the center console in the front is 
heated and air conditioned depending on whatever your heat and air conditioning settings are in the car. So if it's winter and you're running the heat in the car, you can have put hot food up here and it'll stay warm and cold food back here and it'll stay cold. That's pretty cool. The one thing I don't like about the refrigerator in the back is that it's between the rear seats. So when you're driving a long distance, you literally have to pull over to go get anything out of it unless you have someone in the back seat who's able to grab it for you. That is probably the only complaint I have. That If that is not a first world problem, there, not, there is no such thing as one. Um, my, my fancy BMW requires me to pull over when I want to get something out of its refrigerator. <laughs> That's clearly a first world problem. But how many cars have dum -da -da -dum, hidden storage? Another neat feature of this car is it's got complete side window shades everywhere that are power. They just go up on all the windows. It's just pretty cool. And unlike other cars, they stay up when the window goes down. That I've never seen. So you can get air and keep privacy. The full 32 options of the front seats in the back, including full-blown recline, Airplane style, it'll keep going, 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 going. Airplane style, first class, baby, yeah, what's up now? Look at that. I mean, that's pretty cool. Heated and air conditioned rear seats. And the option, by pushing this button here, to control the front seat and get it out of your way. And you have the full controls, actually. You can do the, you can actually adjust the bolsters and everything from the back seat just to drive your front passenger crazy. This is a cool car. All right, seriously? <laughs> Are they kidding? Boom! <laughs> I'm gonna get knocked out coming out of this car. Uh-oh, this is really bad <laughs> in terms of headroom. And there's something behind me here. <gasps> this car has the worst headroom in the rear. No legroom at all with feet squished under the seat. I mean, literally the tops of my feet, you can see the lighting down there. You can't see the tops of my feet because they're pressed up against the front seat. This is bad. <laughs> this is not for big grown men. I hate to say this, but this car, this back seat is terrible. I mean, just, wow. This might be the most cramped back seat I think I've ever been in in a full-size car. I am sitting naturally here. You could see my whole body, I'm in the seat. This is to here, I can't go farther forward. This is to here, I can't go back down any farther. And when I sit up, my head is so, you can't even see me. <laughs> I'm bigger than the car. One, two, three, flooring it. Yo, that's slow to react. Try that one more again. I'm gonna floor it in one, two, three. Holy smokes, that is slow to react. Last test, I'm gonna floor it in one, two, three. What the heck? How can they have that much throttle delay in these cars? That's a lot of throttle delay. It's not even like a little. The tack don't even move for like two full seconds. Like if this guy's pulling in front of me and I wanted to just swerve around, now I don't have the power to do it. Like, wow, it's a nice kick when it does kick in, but it's really delayed. So I'm driving around and I just, in the South Bronx here and I just had to stop and look at that. 750 Li, look at that thing, that thing smashed. It's a nice looking car if they would fix it though. This is the South Bronx and I am driving around a car that used to be $125,000 in the South Bronx. That is gonna make me stick out like a sore thumb, a white guy in the South Bronx in a V12 BMW. That's just, yeah. I'm gonna hold it at first so I have some power. Now I can do that. Oh, I broke the tires free. That was that yellow light. I don't know if you could see that in the camera. It's just such a pleasant experience in this car. That's the best word for it, pleasant. I mean, would you like some great Poupon? I like the rocky road. I like the ice cream. Only this one's really a rocky road. But here, check that out. Now. It's 
phenomenal acceleration on this thing. So now we're heading back downhill. We're back in first gear, but I'm gonna pick up a little more speed. So I'm gonna put it into second gear, shift it in. And now it's gonna roll nicely. Now when I'm coming to the end where, there, where I wanna slow down a little bit, rather than hitting the brakes, I just drop it back into first, let the car slow down. Now I've passed the part where I wanna slow down, so I put it back into second. Let the car pick up speed and now slow down back to one for the intersection. I'm not, I haven't pressed the pedal yet. Interesting power band, like right off the line, it's really not quick. Like really, really not quick. My 760 would pound this thing. But once it picks up the speed, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. A baby raccoon, it's so cute. One, there we go. And you can see there is no problem with this car. Holy crap. That's 50 already. <laughs> okay, cut. If you like those videos, then push like. What you waiting for? Subscribe, hit the bell, smash the bell, ding the bell, do the bell, whatever you wanna do, just do it. Make sure you like this channel, spread it, share the wealth, share the love, share.